The GTX 1070 and 1080 have just dropped and my reaction was something like this. Holy. I'll take that. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a quick update on the GTX 1070 and 1080, which were announced from NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang today, with the GTX 1080 rumored to come in at 599 USD and is supposedly coming out on May the 27th. Now, this card will feature 2560 CUDA cores and also up to nine teraflops of compute performance. And also have the new GDDR5X memory there, and you'll get eight gigabytes of that over a 256 bit wide bit bus. But one of the most impressive feats of this generation coming is the clock speeds. I mean, compared to a GTX 980, I think we've got 1.2 gigahertz on that from the get-go. This time around, we're gonna get 1.733 gigahertz, which is a phenomenal increase in clock speeds over the previous generation. They've also got the Founders Edition, which costs a little bit extra, but is reported to be a binned chip. And at the event, they supposedly had one of these GTX 1080s running at 2.1 gigahertz on friggin' air. That's right, 2.1 gigahertz on air. Imagine what some people will be able to do with liquid nitrogen. Now the younger sister card, the GTX 1070, which I personally have my eyes on and is gonna be my favorite mid-range, or even if you'd call it a mid-range card, is coming in at $379. Now this is going to have eight gigabytes of VRAM as well. Though, will it actually have it since the GTX 970 had kind of a gimp thing going on there? But we'll find out when this is being released as it's supposed to have 2048 CUDA cores, but there's no definite word on that yet. It'll support up to 6.5 teraflops of compute performance, which would actually mean that it would come slightly clocked in lower than GTX 1080 speeds. However, one thing to keep note of is it does have the GDR5 and not the 5X. So this could be a reason why it's not getting the compute figures that the GTX 1080 will be getting. Though I wouldn't worry too much about the compute performance configures as we'll get these cards and we'll be testing them in games and seeing how they run. And that's where the real value will come when we get the final benchmark numbers. Though Nvidia have released their own benchmark figures, which kind of should be taken with a grain of salt in my opinion. Though we can see that the GTX 1080 is scoring a massive lead over the 980 there by around about 70 to 80% in two games, Tomb Raider on DX12 and also Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, which would suggest that this card actually does support asynchronous compute at the low level side there. Another thing touted from Nvidia is the VR performance, which is supposed to have two times the performance of a Titan X. So this spells huge news for the VR gaming community, and I'm sure one of these cards will be invaluable to those people who want to game on VR headsets. So what about AMD and their answer to this? Well, they're actually going to be moving down to 14 nanometer with their Polaris architecture. And if the 16 nanometer is this good, then it actually remains to be seen that the 40 nanometer should be either just as good or if not better. And if we look at the raw architectural improvements of Pascal over Maxwell, actually how much are we getting in terms of raw low level efficiency there? I mean, we're getting the 16 nanometer drop, we're getting the higher clock speeds, but also when we compare a 980 to a 1080, we're also getting 25% more CUDA cores. So essentially, we are getting maybe a 10 to 20% increase in efficiency going by NVIDIA's benchmarks themselves, which, yeah, as I said before, should be taken with a grain of salt. So this would mean to me that AMD still have a great fighting chance to come in with their Polaris architecture and all eyes are on AMD to perform as well as Nvidia this year. Though if it means one thing for the enthusiast tech community, that is that 2016 is gonna be an absolutely kick-ass year for PC gaming. So anyway guys, if you have any questions or comments about today's announcement or about this video or anything you wanna add, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech yes City and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out for now, bye. Why would you get a 1080, man? Get yourself a 1070, bro. Save yourself $220. NVIDIA fanboys be like, hmm, AMD, what you got for me? AMD fanboys be like, 14 nanometer, baby. <laughs>